welcome to another video. This video is going to be our homeschool week of just what we do in our homeschool time. Um, it can be done at any point in the day, it can be done for 10 minutes, it can be done for an hour depending on Rosie's interests. Um, so uh, you have a four day homeschool week for us, what we've done on Monday, Tuesday, Thursday and Friday. But I just want to mention now, Thursday and Friday, Thursday we are going, my mum's coming down, we're going to see Madagascar the musical down the bay. So um, I'll post as much as I can before we go out, um, but we might not get much done that day. And Friday we will get as much as we can done before my aunt and cousin come down because they are coming down to visit Rosie and it is my wedding anniversary with my husband. So later in the afternoon my mum is coming down to look after Rosie while we go and enjoy some adult time. So um, yes, uh this is generally what we get done. Some of it's very samey if we do English and maths in the books. Um, otherwise, I try to come up with games. I'm about to change Rosie's learning shelves now. So, um, yeah, I hope you enjoy the video and I hope it gives you any ideas. The only thing that's not in here because I find it awkward to film is our circle time. Every morning we read three books, one fiction, one non-fiction and one Welsh book. Obviously, you don't have to include Welsh if you're not learning if you're learning a language, include the language book. The non-fiction can be a poem, not just as in a life science. It doesn't have to be a science book. It can be a poem. It can be an, <clears throat> anything you want your non-fiction book to be. So, um, yes, and circle time normally involves singing through the days of the week and more of our Welsh learning. Um, so I don't want this intro to be too long. So along with our circle time, um, this is everything we have done this week mostly and uh, yeah I hope it gives you some ideas and reassures anyone who thinks they might not be doing quite enough with their child especially at this young age they do not need to be sitting down for four to six hours every day what you get done in 10 minutes is a lot more beneficial for them if they can do it because they're enjoying it so Rosie's not forced to do any of this stuff Rosie asks to do it or if I pull a book out and she just like nah I really don't want to do it I'm just like okay and I might bring it back out later so all of this is invitation to play it's none of it's being forced on her I'm very child-led um so yes I shall get into the video okay so today is Monday we have done English in the form of we have done we've finished off this section which was uh writing and now we're on the reading section of this big workbook we have done our maths big numbers and small numbers when her birthday is important numbers to her and stuff like that so we've done english we have done maths we have watched a powerpoint on um recycling from twinkle so she's learned it's kind of kind of science it's kind of science um she has life skills she washed up her own breakfast stuff this morning and she has just been doing oh she's done some art she drew me a picture and made a story about it and then she wrote me a shopping list of everything she wanted at her birthday party now it is illegible I cannot read it but she knows what she put there so it's her shopping list and for the last hour whilst I tried to sort something out on our laptop but I don't have the right passwords for it daddy does um she's been watching horrible history so she's been learning about the Tudor period and she's been learning about how they kept clean back then and um she's currently watching what about how we interacted with animals back then and then we're going to go in the garden for our fresh air pe side of it and i'm going to go help her right now but this is our monday so far Pickle. now we are playing pop to the shops which is good oh. maths practice good coin recognition practice and patience for a board game you enjoy pop to the shops yeah Rosie, which one does fruit begin with Fruit. Yeah, which one of these is the thrust sound? Well done. We're playing a game with our flashcards where I lay three out and Rosie has to pick the one that has the sound I'm asking for. No, I had So which one does oatmeal begin with? Out of these three, baby. Which one does oatmeal begin with? Rosie? We've been doing it for a while. She's getting bored now. This is what she likes to do with the cards. She likes to lay them out on the floor. And then she refuses to pick them pick back up again. These. You do my one first. Which one of these three does oatmeal begin with? 
You only get the cards that you pick correctly, otherwise you don't get them all. So, she might not do all of these now, because she is getting bored. We've been playing it for about 15 minutes and she's getting a bit, bit bored now. I just thought I'd share you our game. Rosie has already done some home economics this morning, because she um, helped do some washing up whilst I made some cashew butter, and she watched me and learned how to do it. If anyone would like a video on how I've made cashew butter, we've made one chocolate, one plain. Um, do comment below, and we will happily do a video to show you guys that. She has spread all her phonics cards all over the floor, um, and we are off out to the cinema today because it is wet and miserable, and we're going to do our schoolwork first. So it will be the same as yesterday with the maths, the English coming from the books. She's done her English and her phonics anyway. And we will probably um, watch. Leave it on your plate if you don't like it, baby. And then leave it on your plate. Just. I'm gonna put it to one side. Rosie has been watching a series on manners and uh, virtues, really. And now, because I've put my shoes on, because we're going out shortly, Rosie has decided she's going to practice her knot tying. Except she's not. Make a long You're not quite doing it right, are you? You're doing the crossing over bit beautifully. You just haven't. You need to undo it all no, and wanna... then come back down. Otherwise, I'm going to have one big matted shoelace, Babs. No, I wanted to do like the puzzles on You're braiding it, are you? Oh. We've got ten minutes and then we're going to need to go sort ourselves out to go out, okay? Make a bit of bread. She doesn't have three, so she's not really braiding, but she's doing what she thinks are braids. But she is fascinated with knots. Aval. Ah, yes. What's carrot in Welsh, Babs? Carrot. Mother. Well Good done. girl. Mother. What is? Today's Thursday and we are doing our Welsh sheets. We've just done part of our circle time. So Perthnasai is relatives, Babs, in Welsh. So this is Mum, Dad. In Welsh, it's not Dad, it's Tad. Dad. If you had a sister, Chwyr. If you had a brother, Brawd. You know Nanny in Welsh. Mangi. Mangi, yeah. Or Nine. And what is what is grandad in Welsh? Tadki. Well done. Tadki or Tide. Auntie. Do you know what auntie is? Mm. Modrib. Mod so can you name me a modrib? Modrib. Give me a name. Name me an auntie you have. Lindsay. Yeah, Modrib Lindsay. That'd be Lindsay's answer. Lindsay Modrib Rosie. So Auntie Lindsay's Rosie's aunt. And who's your Uetha? Uncle Simon. Well done, Uetha Simon. Oh, sorry, Simon Uetha or Sam Uetha. Rosie's um, shelf workout last night. So what she's got to do is. She's going to count all the numbers, all the faces on the little cards, and then she's going to find the correct corresponding number to go with them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14, 15. No. Why don't you try pointing at them as you count them, baby boy? Count, count a little bit slower. So. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So now you've got to find a 7 in there. Magic phone. And I'm being bitten. Whoosh. You find a seven and put it on the top of it so we know how many faces there are. Like, um, you can put it on top of the card or, or next to it, it's up to you, but there'll be more room if you. How many faces are on that one? I'm not going to help you count that time because there's not as many. Three. Okay, you find the number three in there. Ah. Uh. You got it to put on top well done in case she doesn't do this the second thing on her shelves today is some letters and then the beginning sounds she has to match up the beginning sound excuse me with um yeah you're tidying up aren't you 
So I'm going to make her some breakfast because we want to make sure that we're not starving before Nanny gets here. We're going to have porridge, aren't we? Rosie is now. We're waiting for YouTube to load up so Rosie can watch some more of the Wonder Kids for manners and um, virtues. And she's also going to watch a little bit of um, Welsh singing from Devonshire Bookstart, which she used to love. And they've got some new ones out, so... No, she's probably the last time I'll film this morning, though. She wasn't interested in doing her top shelf this morning, but again, it's invitation to play, so she doesn't have to. What Rosie's doing is she's matching animals to these cards, and then she's working out the beginning letter and tracing them, and she'll end up with a bar graph. So can you find me the caterpillar? And she should end up with like more of one letter and so she'll tell me what she's got more of, what she's got less of and she'll be able to see what beginnings of what a bar graph kind of looks like. So Caterpillar begins with what letter, baby bear? Cur. So you can trace another curly cur. I Ooh. traced that one. Yeah, you, that one. Oh no, yeah, you have done too many. Okay. That's if she does it right. <laughs> Rosie sequences and cards and she needs to put them in the right order. This is going to the toilet. So what do we do first? What is that one? Taking your trousers down. Okay. So put that one down here. Okay, what comes next? What do you think we do next? Yeah, we go to the toilet. And she sit on it. What do we do after that? Oh, we do something else before we flush. Yeah, we wipe. Well done. We do something else before we flush as well, Bobby Bear. What's she doing in this one? She's pulling up her... Trousers. So we normally do that before we flush. Right before we flush. And some people might like to leave their knickers and trousers down their ankles while they flush, but... Um, I don't mind which way around you put the next two. Yeah, and she's just got a couple of sequencing cards in this that she's going to do now. And try to make it together. So get the butter. And thread. And thread. It's a good effort, Babs. Thread. 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 So you push it down into the toast. That's it. That's getting good. There's a big lump there, though. Don't lick the knife, remember? Good job. You want, to, you, want, uh, you want to cover as much of the bread as you can. I hope you enjoyed the video. It was just a brief overview of each day of the things we actually sit down to do. We obviously keep learning throughout the day. But this was our major kind of like sit down focused work. Um, we don't do it for long and um, it's always led by her. So if she's really not in the mood one day, it's just a case of there's no point fighting it. It's just so much easier. If you just go, if you go with your child and they retain the information better, so Rosie hasn't seen the film Madagascar. So seeing as we saw it on Thursday on the stage, she is now wanting to watch. Um, watch the movie, and we've got a party this afternoon. So um, yeah, we'll leave it there for now. And it's Tata from me and Tata from the Rosie Bear.